This week, the BSI released a document named PAS 63100-2024. This document has caused a bit of an uproar online because it talks about the safety and placement of battery storage at home. And one thing it did say in the document is that batteries shouldn't go in lofts. Well, today's video, we're gonna be talking about what that means for you if you want a battery in a loft, what it means if you currently have a battery in the loft, and some other things in the document that were mentioned um, that I actually agree with. Firstly, the BSI document is not law, it's not a guarantee that you have to follow it. Whether manufacturers from battery companies actually follow it and decide to guide with it is unknown. Whether NAPIT, MCS and other trade bodies decide to force their members to follow the BSI rule is unknown at the moment. And the other thing that we would probably rely that one person who will follow it is probably insurance companies. Now, if insurance companies rely on it, it could mean that a difficulty in claim if the battery was the secondary cause of a fire or caused more injury or anything like that, it might be relied on by an insurance company. Now, if your battery is already installed in your loft, it won't matter. If it's going to be installed within the next six weeks of this video coming out, you'll probably be fine again. It's whether it happens after six months, a year after that document's been published and that document hasn't been changed or rectified or nothing's ever come about it. But we're going to discuss in this video what I actually think about the safety of batteries in lofts. Now we'll get back to my thoughts on in a minute, but let's first talk about some of the actual good practices that were in this document. Number one, talked about not putting batteries near staircases because of safe route of escape. Totally agree. Not to put them in habitable areas like bedrooms. Again, I agree. LFP batteries can vent hot gases and those hot gases can be toxic to human beings. So again, we don't want them in the bedrooms, possibly causing damage to us while we're trying to escape. Another thing that was mentioned around this was that they kind of were trying to push for batteries to go outside, which again, can be an actual decent place to put them. However, it had a limitation of how close it could be to a window, which meant in terraced houses, your options are almost numbered, which means they'd have to go inside your house. And most terraced houses, that means they'd have to go in your loft, which they don't want them in the loft. So where are you supposed to put them, BSI? So one of the arguments for not having batteries in lofts is accessibility. And that means that if you need to access the battery to turn it off manually, you won't be able to. Well, there's very few reasons why you'd ever need to access a battery to manually turn it off. I don't think you ever really need to. And most of the functions can be controlled by the user app anyway. And if the battery was catastrophic, you're not gonna be going near it to turn it off physically anyway. You'd be running out the house. So again, these arguments I think personally are a little bit stupid. The other thing that they talk about is the weight issue of a battery. And that has some other complications. Now I partly agree with the weight issue about batteries and lofts and weights. And their worry is that they could fall on firefighters or people when they're escaping. Because I've seen some terribly installed battery systems in lofts, terrible. They're just literally left there, pretty much dangling by the cables and not properly supported, which means they could fall on people, they could cause damage, and they are a danger. Now that is poor practice. Poor practice isn't gonna be helped by this document. People doing poor practice will continue poor practice. They will continue fitting batteries to lofts. They don't care. Now, that is poor practice. Now those people will never change. So this document isn't gonna help that. What would be better off BSI was maybe some guidance on how to fit batteries safely to loss, how to safely secure them. Now they're worried about the weight issue. Let's talk about something else that goes in the loft that's to do with renewables and that's water cylinders. Typical water cylinder is 210 litres of water. One litre of water is one kilogram. A full tank in your, in your loft would be 210 litres, that's 210 kilograms. Plus the weight of the tank, that's another 50 kilograms. So you're about 260 kilograms of physical weight just for a water cylinder in your loft. Now to put that into perspective, a five kilowatt hour battery weighs about 60 kilograms. And most homes will only need 10 kilowatt hour batteries. That's 120 kilograms. And that means way under what a water cylinder tank currently weighs. Now the other way of looking at it is, a, to get to water cylinder tank weight in batteries, you, you'd want you'd have 20 kilo, kilowatt hours of batteries. That's a lot of batteries. And most homes won't need that many batteries in the loft. And even if they did, again, it's the same as a water cylinder tank. So I don't really understand BSI's argument here. Does that mean we're now gonna have a recommendation off them that we should not be fitting water cylinders to lofts that have been there for years and years and years? Now, one of the other arguments off them is that in the loft, it is a bit of a tinder box. I get that. 
lofts are made of wood. There's lots of flammable materials up there that could catch fire. And batteries could be of a cause of that fire. Now, however, that is possibly correct maybe for NMC chemistry, but LFP chemistry is a much more stable chemistry that only vents hot gas. Now, the hot gas on LFP batteries is designed to vent from the rear port of the battery in case of one of these catastrophic failures, which means that they're, they're designed to be mounted onto a fireproof board. That fireproof board would take that hot gas and not cause a secondary fire. So I don't see the issue with LFP batteries. Maybe they should have maybe said, NMC batteries, no in the loft. LFP batteries, okay in the loft. Now, if you're worried about the risks of battery fires and the risks of the battery fire in your loft, then I actually did an interview with Dr. Ewan McTurk last year. I recommend you check that video out top right here.